In this video we'll look at how to use Excel to use the time series additive model to forecast some quarterly data. So here's the data I want to forecast. It shows the units sold of a product measured in hundreds over this four year period from 2014 to 2017. Uh, quarterly data and I'm wanting to forecast therefore for the next year 2018. So the first step is to find the trend, the underlying trend, which is the centered moving average trend. To do that, I first of all add up pairs of four values here. And the first one goes alongside the third value. Very important you put it in the right place. So add up the first four values here, placing the sum alongside the third value. Copy the formula down now to do the rest, but only to there so that the final one is the alongside the third value of the four final four values. Now I need to add up pairs of these values here, sums of two fours. Again, notice the first one goes alongside the first value. So add up these first two. Now copy down to do the rest. Again, not too far this time I need to go to there so that this is the sum of those final two. Now to find the trend, divide this sum of two fours and those eight values by eight to find the average. So that gives me my first trend value. Copy the formula down to do the others. Okay, so that's the first component, the centered moving average trend. Now I need the variations around that trend. So to do that, I first of all find the individual variations by subtracting the trend from the actual values. So let me do the first one here. So it's the actual value of units sold minus the trend. So that's the first one. Copy down. I can do the rest. So that shows me the variation around trend in each particular quarter. Since they differ, I need to find the average variation in each particular quarter. So I'm going to do that down here in this table here. So I need to copy down the variations for any particular quarter and then average them. So I'll do quarter one to begin with. So I'll select the first one here, hold down command, control on windows to select the other two. It's quarter one there, and here, and there. Copy those. You can copy here or press command key, shortcut, control uh, C on Windows. Copy them. Now I'm going to paste the, these ones down here. So that's quarter one, now quarter two. So those are the, these are the variations in quarter one, in quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. I want the average here of these to give me the typical variation in each quarter. So let me use the average function. Copy these first, these three here. Now I can copy the formula across to do the others. Let me reduce them to three decimal places. Okay, so those are that's the average variation in quarter one, the average variation in quarter two, and so on. Now I want these variations to add up to zero, so I need to check that. So let me find the sum of them. not zero, so I need to adjust them. This is what's called the total error. So I need to divide that by four to find the average error. Four, of course, because there's four values. And then subtract the average error from each one to adjust them. So let me divide this by four. 
that gives me an average error which I need to subtract from each one. So let's do the first. So it's that minus this average error. Now of course if I'm going to copy this formula successfully to do the others I must keep this the same. So I need to make G28 absolute. Now I can copy successfully. Let's check the add up to zero. If I just copy this formula down here, this summation formula, it will of course do these four. And there they're up to zero as required. So that's the second component. Now I simply need to recombine them into a forecast. Now to do that, I first of all need to project the trend forward into the forecast period here of 2018. The way we do that is that we find the overall increase in the trend divide it by how many times it's gone up and that gives me an average change in the trend which I can then keep adding on in order to project the trend forward. So I'll work that out here. So I need the last value of the trend from the first value. So now I can work out the overall change in the trend which as you can see is uh, just under 9. So it's the last value minus the first value. Eight point five, in fact. So that's the overall increase. So how much on average did it increase per quarter? Well, notice that there are twelve trend values. So from the count here, which means, of course, it actually went up eleven times. So I need to divide this overall change by 11 to find the average change per quarter. Let me do that. OK, that's the average change in the trend. Now I'll keep adding that on to put the trend forward. So I'll do the first one here. So that's the last tr actual trend value. I now add on to that this average change. Again, if I'm going to keep adding that same amount on, of course, I need to fix that. So L14 needs to be absolute. So we have the first value. Now if I copy down, it will do the rest successfully. So that's the trend push forward. Let me make turn this, put those figures in red to remind me that those are forecasts rather than the actual values. OK, so now we've projected the trend forward, it's simply a matter of adding on to the projected trend value the typical variation for that quarter, and that gives me the forecast. So what I need to do here is to copy these seasonal variations here that I calculated, the adjusted ones of course, up to the forecast period so I can add them on to the projected trend to give me my forecast. So let me highlight these. and copy. Now I'm wanting to copy them to here. Now notice that means first of all turning them from a row into a column which means I need to transpose. Secondly I want to copy the values, the actual values here, not the formula that's in this cell. If I copy the formula when I copy in here it will be the formula will be adjusted accordingly and I'll get different answers. I don't want that here. I only want to copy the values plus I need to transpose them. Now to do that you need to use paste special. So I'm going to right click here where the first one is going to go and I'm going to choose paste special and I'm going to choose to paste values yeah, which is just the numbers and I'm going to transpose from a row to a column. So that's how you do this values and transpose. And as you can see that's successfully copied the same values and it's turned them from a row into a column. Let me reduce these down to um, three decimal places as always. And I finally therefore I can combine these two, I can add them together to give me my forecast. So let's take this projected trend value, add on to that the which is for quarter one the typical variation in quarter one and I have a forecast value. I can 
copy down and do the rest. Put them in red because they're forecasts. And finally, I'll change them to whole numbers because the actual values here are in whole numbers. Let me just scroll down a bit so you can see that. So here's my forecasts. Let me just finally. So there we have it. There are my forecasts for 2018 uh, using the additive model.